I had a specific case where I was not able to move a vertex without snapping to a closest next vertex. The thing is, snapping is disabled, which is usually the reason for this behavior. When snapping is enabled, then the vertex, which is currently grabbed, will be attracted by close geometry of its immediate surrounding. But in this case I just move slightly my vertex around and when I release it, then it will be snapped to the closest next vertex. When I do this with a vertex, which is not on a very tense geometry structure, then it will be not snapped. So why is this happening only on specific areas? I think this is a particular case, because it will not always happen in every situation. Mostly it is about your settings and your previous doing. And in this case about your settings and the size of the object or your density of geometry. So snapping have to be disabled, for sure, if you don't want to snap. But you have to check options as well and if their auto merge is enabled. Disabling auto merge is for sure a possibility, but I really like to keep auto merge enabled, because I really love to slide and snap vertices and merge them when they are overlapping. As I mentioned before, size matters. Uh, of your object. About this Blender 3D geometry, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> what else? The, <laughs> the distance of your vertices are too close, so it is necessary to change the threshold. This really defines at which distance your vertices will be auto merged and they don't have to be overlapping by 100%. I just enter another zero here. And now I can move the vertex freely again with auto merge enabled. I was struggling with this issue yesterday, so I thought it would be good to share my experience. That's all so far. Thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like and or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers!